Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? This is the show where we explore audio, video, computers, and sometimes solar. While looking for unique or interesting electronics, sometimes I come across something that makes me do a double take. That happened when I spotted this two-in-one portable CD player and Bluetooth speaker. My first impression was an odd-looking record player. Well, I was wrong. Its unique style stands out in a surprisingly crowded portable CD player market. The Fangor 2-in-1 Portable CD Player and Bluetooth Speaker. This is what's next. Here we go. This is the Fangor 2-in-1 Portable CD Player. F CD 143. As you can see on the front, very unique design here because it looks like a record player. Um, so we're going to take this out of the box and take a look at it. Here we got the side of the panel. It says two in one portable CD player. That's right. This is also a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this one is showing the CD player disconnected from the device. We'll show how that works. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's take this out of the box. Let's see what we got in here. There is our user manual. Um, basically, you can see that it supports CD and TF cards. Interesting. Format CD, MP3, CDR, CDRW. There's your digital formats, including WAVE, although it must be below 128 bit rate. So it displays tracks. It's got some speed controls. There's some EQ controls. And it's a type C connection, 10 watts. Not the usual five volt one amp, but five volt two amp. Here is the speaker. We'll leave that in the packaging. Here is the CD player. I'm sure high quality earbuds. Here we have a USB A to C connection. And we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, uh, male to male. You're gonna notice no power supply. All right, let's first take a look at the Bluetooth speaker. Again, <laughs> looks like kind of an old school record player. We have our knob here, um, plastic knob, plastic housing. There's a little bit of weight to this thing, but not much. Uh, it does say, please pull out the slide bar before removing the CD player. So that must be this. So this just goes back and forth. And what's really cool about this, look at there. There's your USB-C connection. So it gets connected into the CD player. All right, two speakers up front, nothing on the bottom. We have a base port here. There's our USB-C connection and we do have an aux in. That's interesting. That obviously then could use this cable if you wanted to plug in a tape deck or something like that. I'm interested to hear how this speaker sounds. And then of course you got the four nubs or feet here. That's where the CD is gonna go. Let's look at that next. All right, now we look at the CD player. This is it here. And if you'll notice, this has got grooves, just like a record. See where the theme is coming from? A record on a record player, very interesting. All right, so there's our uh, USB-C connection. We have the open here obviously we've got this paper sleeve in here so let's go ahead and take that out um close that up uh so obviously this has got a battery in it um and right now there's no power in it um they have the display i'm sure that's memory there's your eq there's your speeds uh skip forward back play button and our power button so if you notice on the side there's our headphone jack volume control TF card slot. Again, we already looked on this side, USB-C. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this into place here. It should kind of match up with the feet. So if we get this a little bit like that, and then eventually you get the uh, USB should fit in. There we go. And then that's how you would connect up the power. Let's get a power supply and let's uh, plug this in and see how well it works. All right, so let's go ahead. We have our USB A to C connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the back. 
good thing that I'm seeing USB-C on here. And we're gonna plug this in to our anchor, which is five volt, two amp. And we're gonna plug in the CD player again. And this was kind of a pain, so let's see if we can get this in here. This is kind of picky. Um, there it goes. You can't, I mean, it's like you have to kind of pick it up and slot it in. So there we go, we got the, uh, we got that slotted in. All right, so now we're plugged in. Let's get a CD in here and see how this thing sounds. CD player plugged in to the tone arm. We have the speaker ready to go. And so we're just going to, just like with any Bluetooth speaker, we're going to hit the power button that's pressing down, hold. Bluetooth mode. And so it automatically defaults to the Bluetooth. We'll test that in a few moments. What I do have here is my Tascam recorder. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the CD player. So I'm gonna press the button one more time. And then we're gonna hit play. And if you can see here, we got um, the CD is spinning up. Oh, actually there is no CD in here. That's my bad. We gotta put a CD in there. So this is my CDR uh, test one with some YouTube audio tracks and a left right test. So we're gonna try this again. Um, you can see the uh, top of the connection here. The CD spinning up, 16. So we're gonna turn that off for a second. That's a little too early. So we're gonna go back to track two and we're going to go ahead and we're gonna record this sample from the task cam to see what it sounds like. I can already had a little bit of a sample prior to this and uh, it definitely has some bass. The high end's not so much, but see what you can hear for yourself here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start record and we're gonna hit the play button. Sample audio coming from your left channel. This is sample audio coming from your right channel. This is sample audio coming from your left and right channel. Let's try Bluetooth. All right, so we have the iPad um, currently looking for Bluetooth source. We're gonna switch that back Bluetooth to. Mode. And we should see something come up. There it is, FCD 143. Connected. All right, so that is my look at the Fangor. Bluetooth portable speaker system with CD player all looking like a record player. What are my final thoughts? Let's take it back to the studio. I mean, honestly, look at this device. With its size and semi-portability, the Fangor CD player combo unit is great for an office, kid's bedroom, shed, or garage. Don't expect booming sound, but the CD player's EQ setting allows you to dial in the audio to suit your listening style. One of the biggest gripes I have is the volume control. The knob is extremely sensitive. I found it difficult to get the volume exactly right. It's plastic construction makes it feel a little cheap, and as it's stated in the manual, the small battery in the speaker is there to enhance the audio, not for portability, so that's a bummer. Overall, if you're looking for a gift and need a portable CD player, you might find this a good fit. Well, that's it for today. If you liked today's episode, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, and if you want the show to appear in your feed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and bell notification icon. Thank you. In the meantime, feel free to watch one of my other videos here or here. Until next time, I'll see you again for another episode of Hey, What's Next? <laughs>